let me start uh, deep and me uh, i know deep uh, and pradhan and many of deep's colleagues almost over last 15 20 years it has been a great privilege uh, development seems to be a very serious profession uh, deep you have been talking about marriage of head and heart uh, for persons in the field of development how do, what what's the chemistry of that i think that you know as i was saying in the morning uh, and i am very very clear about it that knowledge is important but without compassion without empathy so your primary motivation has to be that i want to extend myself beyond myself uh, you know so it's it's not just me only or me first but somebody else and that's what is going to give me joy so that to me is you know uh, is a, is a sort of necessary condition but then you also need uh, you also need knowledge resources and, and what have you. Um, I think everybody has compassion. I'm firm believer that everybody does have it in them, in them to extend themselves to others. Uh, what happens is that very often we haven't gone through experiences which, which would trigger that. So I think everybody has it in them. Uh, it's just that how do you help people to trigger that? So that's why in, in the you know, apprenticeship program that we designed uh, way back in 92, 93, um, we have this, I and mean, we keep saying that you stay in Pradhan, you've been in Pradhan for two years, two months, three months, six months, doesn't matter, and we paid you a stipend, but if you don't think that this is a calling, that something draws you to this, please move on. Uh, and similarly, we'll also make judgments about you. And if you think that you are, you know, you are a great human being, great intellectual, and so on and so forth, but you are not cut out for for this place, we will tell you, please, you know, you are a wonderful person, but this is not the place for you. You have come to the wrong place. So this idea of people making an informed choice that I am in this not because I'm getting a job or a salary or Pradhan is a, a good organization or, or what have you. That's not the reason why you should stay here. Uh, you should stay here because if you have a sense of calling. So I think everybody has it, but it needs to be triggered sometimes. That was uh, fascinating deep in terms of uh, organizations like Pradhan, like Deshpande Foundation, like many other NGOs offering space for individuals to sort of reflect, not just do action, but also have time and space and opportunity to reflect on really finding out as to what is their true calling. The question is on deep impact, and I've been in Delhi for the last 13 years, and one hears a very interesting phrase, which is like Jugar, lage raho. So if you, if you have met NGOs who are active for about 20, 25 years, and you ask, okay, but what about uh, the impact of the work uh, that you have been doing in uh, some villages or with communities, then they then the world will lage rahe hai. Hum log lage rahe. We are at it. We are doing it. Why don't you trust it? So in lage raho, they, that's the kind of a additional message that is conveyed. So in other words, don't ask us questions about impact. Lage rahe. We are at it. We are at the forefront of it. So, uh, uh, and here we have corporates. Here we have also angel investors. I met a few of them. And the, their time frame is two years, three years, five years. They don't have time to lage raho for 20, 30, 40 years. Uh, their time frame is uh, exit, exit time frame of two, three, four, five, six, seven years. I don't think even seven years is the time frame. So, uh, and you have also seen uh, as a member of being a National Advisory Council, other board, you are closely interact with the corporate. So, how does one balance with this lage raho time frame of the NGOs and the exit time frame of the venture capitalists and the theme of the conference in terms of impact, what it matters, because at the end of the day, the change that is visible, which is seen in the lifetime and the aspirations and so on and so forth. Well, that's a googly. Um, um, I don't play cricket, but I do occasionally watch it. Um, I think one issue that people do need to understand is that um, the social development change in the social context is willy-nilly more ambiguous and slower. Many years ago, I know Pradhan was one of the two NGOs that came up with this idea, this innovation of self-help groups, women's self-help groups, way back in 1987. That's when we made the first self-help group. 
Um, and in those days, for us, it was basically, you know, women getting together, pooling, you know, resources and, you know, pooling, you know, their savings, earning, earning, whatever it is called, and then lending to each other. You know, that's how it started. Now, over the years, we have ourselves developed, you know, understood, and women have, in the process, uh, begin to deal with issues which are different from livelihoods and money and so on and so forth. For and the example I was giving you in the morning of women, you know, telling off a deputy commissioner, or women going to the government and saying, why aren't I getting, you know, MG Narega work? Or why is, I, I know a case where these central group women got together and went and locked the local primary school because the teacher used to come at 11 o'clock. So they said, well, the hell with you. They just went and locked the school. And the teacher came and you know, threatened them and what have you. And they said, sorry, you came late, so the school is closed. Uh, and eventually, he you know, sort of had to uh, seek their forgiveness and started coming on, on time. Now, when we started with self-help groups, savings and credit, and maybe livelihoods and what have you, we didn't think about that someday women would be in a position to demand that the school function or the health center function, that the police register an FIR in case of a violence against women. You know, these were things we didn't imagine when we started with the self-help groups. So do I just simply say, well, the, I have started the self-help group and that's the end of the process? Or do I, as the process in, unravels, as the experience changes, for example, until 1993, there was no Panchayat Raj Act. Uh, and now, you know, there is a Panchayat Raj Act. So women can participate in the Gram Sabha. Now, do I work with that or don't I work with that? So I think part of the problem in the development sector comes from, uh, you know, the, the fact that as you engage, um, things unravel a bit more than what you understood uh, day before yesterday. Now, that doesn't mean to say that you know, lagerho and, you know, don't ask what is it adding up to, where will it, you know, when will I be able to move on and, and whatever. So I think that sense, this uh, need for um, investing in people and letting, you know, handing over uh, and, and working towards your own redundancy, that, uh, that, you know, the horizontal spiral that I was talking about and the vertical spiral that I was talking about in the morning, that's where this, this, so there are, you know, organizations and programs and projects and approaches which will let you get out, which will make it possible for you to get out at some stage, or at least reduce your involvement at some stage. And there are others where you do really, truly lagero. So I think, you know, uh, so there is, you know, it's not a very clear uh, black and white that, you know, we should be able to get out in seven years or three years or five years or 10 years. So that exit that a, a you know uh, hot money investor has that I must be able to get out in five years time, uh, equity investors uh, have that uh, that idea that you know they need to see an exit uh, when I will be able to sell my stake and you know make money and move on may or may not sell it but he needs to know it upfront. Unfortunately, this is a space where that is you know uh, you know it's easy to say but it's more complicated than that. What matters the most to you? I know there are so many things, and how do you make it count? <laughs> what matters, to, well, actually, one of the things that, one of the cautions that I always have is when I engage with people, whoever, young professional working in Pradhan or poor tribal women in Jharkhand, that, you know, through my engagement, they should definitely not become worse off than before I engage with them. So it's a responsibility that I bear, that you know the, the people that I work with, they should not become worse off through my engagement. That's that's a you know trust that I have to have. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you for listening.